Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mast and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we are taking a look at Arthur now that they have finally given the man a proper nerf. Arthur has been disgusting for I don't even know how long. I don't even remember how long he's been in the game, but he has been gross and he's been dominating SPL. But finally, Hi-Rez gave him a legitimate nerf that really hurts him, which is taking away the true damage on his big ultimate. So I haven't played him since. At least I haven't paid attention since. I think I've done some jungle. I like to meme around with Arthur jungle. I think it's super fun. But I haven't played him in the solo lane, and I'm sure this will be a really big hit to his solo lane damage because his ultimate is no longer insanely broken. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what we get to do. We're going against an Osiris who doesn't have a whole lot of sustain here, so we might be able to bop the man a little. Uh, but as usual, in the early game, we're not going to have a whole lot that we can do. We're going to be Arthur early, so we don't really have our cooldowns or uh, our like abilities fully leveled, you know? Because Arthur really gets good once you actually get those abilities leveling up, since he's a switch dancer and all. But we can try and smack the man a bit, get those Warriors Blessing stacks. Go grab our blue real quick. But yeah, I'm hoping that we can still play the matchup really well, because when I've played Arthur in the past, I honestly haven't needed the ultimate. Because uh, where I feel like I think a lot of people sleep on just how strong Arthur is for his ones alone. Arthur's ones are ridiculous, man. Like his ultimate is insane. Uh, at least it has been in the past when it does when it does the true damage. But his honestly, like his ones are pretty gross too, because they do how much damage? I want to say if you get melee range with the blue one and then you hit the orange one, I think you have like 680 base damage or some something close to that, man. It's actually disgusting. So. Uh, I'm hoping that we can still do work in lane with those, but we're definitely going to have to rely less on the ultimate, since obviously it took a really big hit. Uh, and, uh, and, like, if you were to play him in jungle or something, there's actually a chance that it'd be more worth than it used to be to go for the little ults. Um, but I think in lane, we'll still definitely want to focus on, on the bigger ultimate. I don't think it's really worth stunning in lane. It's more of, like, a setup for your teammates type thing. Okay, so far, Osiris is actually playing it pretty well. He's doing a good job of uh, sustaining and, and not taking bad trades. I want to catch him with his one here in a second, though. Oh, baby. Yeah, see, look at the damage on that one, man. When we get the blue one in melee range, it does bonus damage, which I don't know. I like the idea of the mechanic, but it's a little strong, dude. It was auto can. Oh, hang on. Hit it. Let's go, baby. See, look at that. We don't even need the ultimate to play Arthur. I see a lot of people level up the two in lane and even before the three. I really don't. I don't agree with that, man. I feel like it's just not worth. You can get so much out of the three, especially versus Osiris, because Osiris has really good um, slows, so he can control us a lot. We can level the three and then move around a lot, and it's really hard for him to do much. Is he what? Hello? He has teleport. You gonna you gonna use it, bud? I don't I don't know where the hell he is. I guess maybe he wanted to save it. I mean, it wouldn't be. I don't. Is he making a big brain play? Maybe he's saving teleport because he didn't need to use it there. I don't know. I guess, yeah, I guess that's what it was. I'm assuming, I don't know why you would have teleported. I'm assuming you didn't use it earlier. This isn't quite up yet, but it's about to be. Oh, and he's coming. Here, let's get some CC. Oh, Naja doesn't even care, man. Naja just wants the blue. I respect it. Do you, do you want the blue? Yeah? Okay, okay. <laughs> Tripping me out for a second, man. I thought he was just going to ditch. Oh, do I do I lose this now? Because we don't have secure. Cause, okay, we're good. Oh. Because I was going to say, I used my stuff on Osiris. It would totally blow if that just screwed it up for us. Yeah, that's a crazy lead for lane, man. The fact that we get to... I don't know if it was first blood, but the fact that we kill him. And then also we get his blue. And we get our blue. That's going to that's gonna be devastating, man. Plus, I'm about to get Glad Shield done. Oh. This is, this is where Arthur gets pretty nuts. Yeah. And he's going to be going into Berserkers too. So he will get a lot of sustain once he actually gets that done. But for now, he doesn't have it and we're going to bop the man. Get over here. Oh, he's down. I like it. <laughs> uh, we're really just doing this for poke. I don't think I have a kill. Oh my god, I'm not doing damage. And I'm whiffing my things. And I'm missing a wave like a I'm trolling. I think I missed like two or three creeps right there. But yeah, we can at least send him back, which is good. That's one thing. I've brought that up in the past when we played Arthur solo. I really like just spamming the ultimate whenever I have it. Because uh, it's just so good for poke, man. But you can see already that did so much less damage than it would have in the past. It definitely, like, and, and that's just from base protection. So he doesn't really have defense so far. Like, he has Warrior's Blessing, and he had tier 1 of uh, Berserkers. Which, I, yeah, he, now he has full Berserkers. But that's that's a really big difference. So for those of you guys who maybe don't play Arthur a whole lot or just need some tips anyways, I definitely recommend... Oops, I was about to ult him there. There we go. I definitely recommend trying to make sure you can spam abilities when possible. Uh, not just because that's kind of what Arthur does, but for passive as well. Here, we'll see if we can get out. Or can we turn? 
Can we do Arthur things? Oh my god, we can maybe do Arthur things. That's ridiculous. No, please! <laughs> oh my god, if I knocked him in a tower, that would have been so nuts. Here, can I stun the Arachne? Damn. I think we can kill Osiris off that, though. Yeah, we can. Wow, dude. See, Glad Shield is actually just ridiculous. I started, they burned pretty much everything on me as I was trying to get out there, so I figured we might be able to turn from the Glad Shield heals. That's just so wrong. The fact that you can do that. <laughs> the fact that you can do that on Arthur, man. And he doesn't have teleport up either, so he loses so much farm off that, and so does Arachne. But yeah, what I was trying to say before we got so rudely ganked was uh, I really like on, on Arthur trying to make sure that you're constantly fighting when you have the chance. Because you got to build that passive up. You got to build up energy from hitting people with abilities and therefore building more energy because that lets you spam your ultimate more, which is really, really important. Uh, it also gives you, what is it, damage mitigation? Yeah, it also gives you damage mitigation, but really what I think is a lot more important is getting that ultimate spam in lane. And it's also why Osiris, or not Osiris, but Arthur isn't a very good jungler is because it's hard to actually spam abilities when you're constantly farming the jungle and not fighting as much. Okay, so we should get through the stun there because we went into ult, which is what I was trying to do. Okay, if we can stun, we might have a kill. Snipe it! Oh! <laughs> Dude, I forgot how nuts my Arthur is. <laughs> it's been so long since I played him in lane. I've been playing him in jungle, but he's so bad in jungle that it's hard to really, like, recognize how much you can do on him. But when you play him properly in solo lane, oh my god, it's just, it's just wrong. This poor Osiris, man. And to think that this is after the nerfs they gave him, too. All right, we might stick around for another wave. Uh, we're about to get our teleport up, so I feel like I might as well stick around and actually get a use out of it, you know? Uh, and that way we can go back and... Where do we even go, man? Do I need boots right now? To some degree, I feel like I might as well get boots, but I really don't need them. So I don't know. I think we'll just get boots done. As far as what we're going to build for boots, though, I, we will go to Laria, which I don't know if that's what I was building in the past, but it's what I've been building lately. Um, just because Arthur doesn't really get good power scaling, so you might as well just get speedier. Is pretty much my thoughts on it. Ooh, this could be good. I'm trying to think. His ultimate should still be down, right? He used it to get away last time. Oh, is he not, he's not even on the blue. What? I thought... Oh, there he is. His ultimate might be back up now. I'm not sure. I want to say, if I remember right, Osiris has a slightly low ult cooldown as well. Here, let's try and knock him up at the bottom of it. Oh, or just or just don't get knocked up. Alright, let's pretend I didn't screw up my ultimate right there so badly. There we go, man. That was, that was really good that we were able to clean that up. I am a little worried about Arachne, so I'm playing a little back here, just in case. Not running straight up to tower. Okay, we should be good. Yeah, we can honestly, is like, I, that's not the stance. Oh my god, that looked bad. Um, we can honestly fight her even when I'm low. It's just I need to have, like, my cooldowns ready, and I need to be able to get to wave is the thing, because we can just body block and wave. Although she did, she did go golden blade, but still, we can, we can still body block her stun and maybe her one if we sit and wave. Oh my god, look at Arachne, dude. <laughs> that was not the time to do it, though. Entire team is on red buff. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty unlucky, man. That's actually a pretty good play. I hate, like, Arthur, for the most part, feels so clean. And I don't know, maybe it's a ping thing. Maybe other people don't get this as much. But his three feels so bad a lot of the time. You guys can see that, right? The jitter on my orange three. It feels so bad. Okay, okay. Man's got wiggles. I respect it. Yeah, I definitely want to bully him out. Honestly, I should start looking for rotations pretty soon here. Did he even hit wave with that? I don't think he... I think he missed most of the wave. Yeah, we're gonna try and bully the man. Should get through the stun again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> poor guy, dude. The poor guy. There's not a whole lot you can do about it, man. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I didn't think that would kill him. I guess we must have... We must have barely gotten in melee range right there. Damn it, tower, leave me alone. All right, we have big ult, so if we do have to fight Arachne, she's in mid, we're fine. I was going to say, if we do have to fight Arachne, we should be able to handle her. Ooh, can we get to wave? 
Oh, I guess we took towers, so we can easily get to wave calculated. All right, so as far as build, uh, I'm actually trying to remember, what did I used to build on Arthur? Did I just rush cooldown? I feel like that would make sense if I just went into like a Breastplate or a Genji's after this. Because in the jungle, I build him super different. In the jungle, which is what I've been playing lately with him, um, I'll be going, I'll rush Crusher for one thing, which I don't think is worth in solo lane. Um, but I'll rush Crusher, and then I normally go Blood Forge. It's really just, it's about bursting one person as hard as possible, which is not how you normally build Arthur. So I guess I guess we'll just cooldown rush and go like go like a breastplate to deal with the uh, the physicals a little better, and then as we get later we'll have to deal with Ramor and we can go Genji's. That's probably worth. Okay, so it's worth noting that even though we are absolutely fragging, the rest of the rest of the team's just doing pretty much decent. So we have a little bit of a lead mostly from the solo lane I think, um, but we it looks like we are having trouble in dual lane. So I want to try and get over there and pressure a little bit pretty soon if I can. Yeah, I, I really should, I should stop being in soul lane so much. It's really not too worth. Here, let's go ahead and back real quick. Let's go get a blink done so that I can have better ganks. And then let's also get our breastplate done so we can get that cooldown going. There we go. I really wish, I've been playing a lot of Arachne solo lately. I really wish that I was Arachne right now, man. I love that on Arachne, you can just run it Pyromancer, pop spiders on it, and just take it. It's so gross, and you can't do that on Arthur, man. Arthur doesn't have the damage, but it's so much fun to just sneak Pyro at 10 minutes, and then at 14 minutes, and then at 18 minutes, and just keep doing it. So much fun. All right, so I'm pretty sure at this point he is just going to tower sit. So we'll try and grab blue, and then we'll try and rotate mid and see if we can do something in mid. There we go. Yeah, nope, no slowing. Not today. Okay, so their mid is dead. There's a chance someone comes to cover this and we can ult them. Otherwise, I think we just shove this. Attack middle tower. Enemy yeah? Yeah, let's just shove it, man. Free mid tower. Sounds good to me. Yeah, Ares looks terrified of the Arthur. Oh, he's waiting for his Arachne. Uh-oh, can we actually get it? That sucks, man. I didn't realize he got completely bursted like that. Can I knock it? Dude, chains are broken against Arthur. Jesus. Okay, you're trying to fight an Arthur, honey. Might want to think twice. Oh, are we dying? No, we have Blink. We're fine. Okay, well, that was kind of bad. I, I wanted to get Tower. I kind of baited Raw, and I kind of got him killed, and I feel a little bit bad about it. Because I did not realize that the entire gank squad was going to just collapse on him. I think Arachne blinked on him, but maybe I'm just a bot. I don't know. Because, like, I was going to try and kill Tower and get off Tower to help him. And, like, by the time we were killing Tower, he was just dead. He just got, like, one shot. So, yeah, my bad, man. Not trying to bait the Birdo. Look at our farm lead right now, dude. I'm level 14, almost level 15. These guys are level 11. I actually feel really bad that they have to deal with this. Like, the fact that we didn't die in that fight when I get absolutely hard countered by Ares. And I played it bad, too, because I wasn't thinking. I was thinking that for some reason we'd be able to 2 when we got chained, which isn't true. Because it still counts as a dash. So if I ulted to begin with, I would have taken way less damage. Instead of just sitting there and taking it to the face. Let's see. We're close to ultimate here. Arachne is only level 11. And she's building a lot of mobility, not so much damage. We might be able to 2v or 1v2 here. If they want to they wanna take the trade. Oh, she's not even coming over here. Here, I'm pretty sure Osiris is just trying to seal this. I could be wrong. No, okay, no. I don't know what the man's doing. Alright, the boys are going on Pyromancer. We'll try and rotate over in just a second. There we go. Oh, we don't even need to help. They just get it for free. Nice. Yeah, I haven't done Totem in forever. I wonder if... I, that, how, many, how many Totems have I even done this game? I feel like I probably could have gotten some more off. Okay, they're on gold. Osiris is still left. We might be able to get in here and do something. Damn, I screwed it. Oh, we got it! There we go. I screwed it up to begin with, but at least we still got it in the end. Here, can we stun the man? 
stick to him, do our uh, do our Arthur things. Oh, I screwed that up. Hang on, we've got a blink in a second. Oh, BM! Come here. Oh, he jumped the wall. That was smart. <laughs> I think that's the only way he gets out right now. He still might not, man. It depends on if he sticks around or not. Yeah, there you go. That should get him out. That should get him out. We'll see. Yeah. That was a good play. Yeah, the way you can just dive because of the the, uh, the glad is ridiculous. How did that game? Please. Okay, he died anyways. Like, <laughs> what? Like, I clearly, it's on top of him when it lands. It's just, it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually land the way it looks like it does, you know? Which is why I hate that ability so much. It looks like it should land at a time that's, like, different than it does, or it just, like, can't keep up with me spinning, spinning like a maniac. I don't know. Snipe! Oh, we actually got it. Easy. All right, I think I'm dead. But glad shield? Oh my, glad shield? Oh, I suck. Ares is doing so much work, man. He chained me at the perfect time there. I guess he actually, he didn't do that much damage. Raw did a lot of damage. We haven't backed in a while, so we didn't have our Genjis finished. That sucks, man. I think we probably could have, if I didn't miss ult, we had another kill. I don't even remember who the kill was. I think we would have killed Osiris. Yeah, I hate that ultimate, man. The orange ult is so easy to hit. The big ult is so easy to hit. But the little the little stun, I just, I hate it, man. It's so, it's so frustrating to use. So we have full cooldown reduction. Um, but we could become a tankier, man. How about a void shield wouldn't be bad. We could get a lot more damage out of that while still being tankier. And we also get to help Naja do more damage. We could help Iza do more damage. I think void shield definitely makes a lot of sense here. Yeah, by the way, I don't know. I think I've done a decent enough job of it. People definitely, um, I've seen a lot of people bring up in some of my videos about auto-canceling on Arthur. It's one thing, it's worth keeping in mind, you don't always want to actually auto-cancel on Arthur. It's really more of a mobility thing than a damage thing. Oh man, I thought I could catch her with that, that sucks. Uh, it's more of a mobility thing than a damage thing. A lot of time you're actually sacrificing damage in order to go for it. Like right here, I'm trying to stick to him, so I'm using it. But if I actually want to burst him, then I don't want to use it, if that makes any sense. Because our autos do way less damage than our abilities. So if we're actually looking to burst, we don't even want to auto-cancel. It's just that it's really good for sticking to people, because you get stupid mobility out of it. Oh, our team, like, completely backed off, so we'll reset here. Damn it, I knew he was going to blink, too. I was trying to stop him. Get back here! Alright, I got a little excited. That was kind of bad. Get him? We actually might be able to catch him. Damn. There we go. Finally. Like, look at the mobility we get from those auto cancels. They're insane. Oh no. Uh, Ra's got Divine, and that's going to start to change things. Wait, actually, can we kill? Oh, I thought Ra would push up. Man, I'm starting to whiff everything. Starting to go full suck mode. Ooh. Oh, she what? Oh, she ulted. That sucks, man. That timing's so bad. I was like, why would she beads that? Oh, no. Ra, save me. Heal me. Heal me! God, dude. <laughs> what are you doing, you troll? <laughs> he saved his deal so long. That's not, that's not an Aries. Oh my god. I need to calm down, man. I'm actually just, I'm just button mashing right now. <laughs> I thought minions were Aries. Yeah, stupid Ra Like, what is it with raw players and just not even thinking of healing people? Do they not realize, like, as someone that is a raw player, I love raw. he's probably my favorite mage. Do people not realize that healing is, like, probably the main thing he does? Do they just not comprehend how good his 3 is? Because I swear, like, every raw ever is just trying to hit the sickest snipe of their life, and they almost never even use their 3 to heal their team. They're more like, ooh, I can throw my three at them and do a tick of damage. And obviously that's more important than healing half my team's health, right? Like, I just, I don't get it. 
It, it seems like seriously, like every raw I run into, they're like that, man. They just they don't actually use their heal for healing. They just think it's bonus damage, and it's not. All right, let's get a sentry up on fire. And let's start actually landing things, dude. I've been landing a lot of my regular abilities, but I am whiffing ult so hard right now. On my way. Is ready. What is that voice back? <laughs> Why does it sound like Cerberus was dropped on his head? <laughs> Oorah! Can we land one? Oh, see, look at the healing, man. Use it for healing. Here, let's see if we can catch him off that. Did I miss that? That blows, man. Oh! Okay, we're barely out of there. Yeah, they're getting tons of anti heals, so I'm no longer getting like the glad shield stuff that I was getting before. It's making it really tough to live. It's making it insanely difficult to stay alive in these fights because Ra has Divine and Osiris has uh, Toxic Blade. Just super miserable. And if Arachne gets Toxic Blade, it's going to be that much worse. Okay, um, they have a lot of magic damage that they're hitting us with. One thing I do want to think about is like, do I want to get Magi's? Yeah, I think Magi's isn't bad here, because a lot of time that's going to get us out of Ares Cripple, which is really nice. So, I think that's actually worth. A true king is not afraid to take blows with his knights. <laughs> and then we might even go a Winged Blade in place of Boots once we actually get Speed Pot, because that way, you know, they've got so much slow. They've got Ares slow, Osiris slow, Arachne slow, Ra slow. They have insane amounts of slow on their team. And when we're dashing, that doesn't matter, but when we're actually chasing, it does. So, I think it might be worth selling off Boots for a Winged Blade, too, which could be really good. Yeah, if we can group up and actually look for a fire, we can definitely do it, man. We have a huge lead, and we're just not really capitalizing on it because we're not grouping as well as we should. Because, like, 10k gold lead, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, we should just go on fire off that. We forced Arachne off. Cerberus? Oh, is he actually going to solo her? Oh, just kidding. You're nutty. I'll shut up. Yeah, but <laughs> we could just... Yeah, we could just go on actual fire and force them to rotate in. Get a ward up so we can try and zone raw when he gets here. Oh my god, they're just destroying it. What's up, buddy? Oh, he doesn't even have beads? Poor guy. <laughs> what is that? Did I just solo him? Was that me? Why? It doesn't do true damage and it does that much? Are you kidding? My ult did 868. That's ridiculous. That's not acceptable, man. How much, how much HP does poor Ra have? Oh, he's really behind. I didn't even realize that. We actually did half his health. I want to try and get his jump. Jump! <laughs> Please! This man just doesn't care. I'm trying to use, I'm trying to save my stupid two. And he just won't jump ever. And it's triggering me. Oh, we're fine? Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I can actually just tank. I think. Oh, of course, of course I do that as soon as Rob puts a seal down rip. Here, I'm trying to just barely stay alive here if we can. There we go. Finish it, boys. I think we're out. Okay, yeah, Arachne was chasing me super hard, so I went for the 180, but we're out. Good stuff, man. We got fire, we got left Phoenix. That's awesome. And so far, only one person's died. But they're spawning, so the boys need to chill. Uh, I can just tell they're still going for it, man, and they're still fragging, so I'm just gonna teleport up there, see if we can do anything. Yeah, see if I can help him out at least. I don't think we'll be able to get a Phoenix or anything, but now we can at least try and get him out. Oh, the cripple, man. Oh, Ross! What, what a nutty guy, dude. Good snipe. Actually, might be able to kill the Ares, too. If I don't whiff my things. There we go. Yeah, we're just like killing them off respawn. But we finally only have two up and we have most of our team here. So I think we can just go for it. 
Please. There we go. There we go. We actually got our acne down, which is awesome. There we go, baby. That's got to be game, right? Uller's coming up. See, we only have the one Phoenix. This is taking forever. But I think we get it off that. Yeah, that'll do it, man. GG. So, Arthur after the nerf. Um, he's not very good anymore. As you, as you guys can see, he just doesn't have that quality that Arthur used to have. There was something about Arthur that just made him incredible. And now we just, we only go 11 and 1. So, uh, I think Arthur's around D tier, maybe C tier. And we'll see what other people put up when they do some tier lists soon. Um, but yeah, that, that god that used to be SS clearly just isn't very good anymore. Uh, but, <laughs> but thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I am sorry for playing Arthur and being a terrible person. I did not realize that Arthur was still this broken. Actually, sorry. I, I am sorry for calling all of you who play Arthur terrible people. I shouldn't do it. I'm sorry. It's a little mean. Um, because I give people a lot of shit for playing Arthur in casuals. Dude, play what you want. If, if a god is OP, but you like the god, or maybe you even really just, just want to play an OP god, it's fine. It's up to you. I, I like to mess with people, and a lot of people don't realize how often I'm, like, trolling, at least to some degree, when I, like, do those, like, little BMs on the channel. I really don't care that much, man. I'm an easy enough going guy. I don't care that much if you actually do it. Um, <laughs> so, so for those of you who are actually offended when I'm like, Arthur is just, like, the most try-hard shit and you shouldn't do it, it's like, I'm, I'm not that serious, man. You can do whatever the hell you want. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.